Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a broken mirror or mirror assembly. The first thing you'll need to do is remove the door panel. You'll start by removing this upper panel here and then we're going to go ahead and remove this panel here. To do that I'm going to go ahead and remove this tab. I'm going to remove this panel. I'm going to remove this panel. And there's also a small little panel covering a screw here. And then we're also going to remove a screw that's underneath here. So first panel I remove is this one. And you'll see that there is a clip on the back and this just slips into here. So it just goes in like so. And then this panel clips out there. That'll expose your 11 millimeter bolts. Then you have a little screw here. So I'll go ahead and take this screw out. Set that on my dash. Then I'm gonna take this guy out and it kind of comes from the back side forward. Now this is for a manual uh, window. If you had a power window, your power window would, uh, would have your switches right here. It comes out the same way and then there'd be a harness. There's a screw right down on in here. You can see there's a screw right down there. Well, that's the screw I'm gonna remove. I Almost done there. Put that there. Now I'm gonna come down to that lower one I told you about and just take that screw out. So now I'm gonna take this panel, pull this panel out, just pop this guy out of the way. And there's a screw right here at the door handle. And then there's one more. So the next step is to remove this. And what I do is I take a flathead screwdriver, I come in onto the inner lip and I just push that inner lip out and that pops this guy out here. And I can then move this out of the way and then go in there with my Torx bit and pull that out. So coming in there with a T20 Torx bit and there, oh, don't lose this little guy. This holds the, uh, this stops the hand crank from tearing up the door panel, so we'll just save this for later. And what I was telling you that to pry on is you're gonna pry between this, which is on the door panel, and you're gonna be prying right here with your big flathead screwdriver. So, it's on the car like this. You're prying with a big screwdriver between here and here, and this lip is actually what holds this clip on. So you see that there's this lip right here, that lip on this side and on this side, that's what's holding this uh, outer panel on it. So with that all the way, we should be able to lift up the door panel, move it out of the way, and just drop it down out of the way for the moment. Now we're gonna have four 11 millimeter nuts. Okay. All right, this one is manual, doesn't have any harnesses. Uh, we purchased one that was for an electrical one, so it has a connector, so we'll just stuff that back inside. Uh, but if you had to deal with that, you would have to peel this panel back here, uh, this panel back here, and you would then remove the connector. So here's our new one, and this is our connector. Now this vehicle does not is not equipped with a uh, power setup, so they'll literally just kind of move this into place and that will be that. But if you do have one that is electrically hooked up, you're gonna have to remove this panel to get to this connector here. So all I'm gonna do is just stuff this through the hole and uh, hook everything back up. Now the reason that we purchased this one over top of a manual one is that this one was actually less expensive when we were ordering it from our supplier. I guess they made too many of them, but that's why we ended up going with an electronic versus a manual, because we were able to save some money. Okay, so this guy's in, and we'll go ahead and put the door skin back on. So we'll just take this door panel, line everything up, get it over the lock. All right. 
And now, with all this in place, we'll go ahead and put our screws back in. We'll go ahead and install this guy again, your window crank, and you'll see that it's splined, so you'll just line up the splines, put your washer back, and line up the splines. We will reinstall our little T20 torque bit. cover on, give it a good pounding, and then make sure that you can roll up and down your window. Clips underneath, clips in, and that is how you replace your rear view mirror. So now we have a clean rear view mirror.